All right, guys, I hope you can hear me over the music, but we're, God willing, we're about to go on Margarita at Villa at Sea. Now, we're only doing a one-way cruise. We're not doing a, you know, we're not doing the round trip. So I'm going to give my review on the one-way cruise. So, hey, safe, pray for safe travels. and God bless you all. All right, guys. Now, I'm in my ocean view room. Now, I'm just reminding you because I'm not sure if anyone can hear me when I was down there. But I'm doing what is a one-way cruise. I'm going to call it a one-way. I'm going to call it a one-way cruise. I think it's also called a reposition cruise. We're just going from Grand Bahama Freeport to West Palm Beach. So, just going to show you my cabin here. First of all, we got we got the uh, ocean view. And uh, before I just start, I want to let you know that actually this was. I believe the ticket itself was actually cheaper than the than a plane ticket. So that's nice. So yeah. So I'm gonna definitely give my review of this one way trip. Now I'm just gonna show you the room. Alright guys, so this is the room, We've got ocean view room, nice porthole. We're on the fifth floor, so we're actually pretty low on the ship. There's only one floor of staterooms below us, I believe. I, they may go to three, but I think they only go to four. I'll check that later and correct it if I'm wrong. Nice um, painting. Very nice painting. We got the TV. We got a... This definitely looks like a king-size bed. So I thought they said there was queen-size, king-size. And in here... Let me just back up after I open it. Here's another bed, actually. I uh, hope you all can see that. It's another bed. So three people could stay in this room. Very nice. Just folds down. And then we got here, we got a little mini fridge. Right there. A little mini fridge. Nothing inside that, but it's a little mini fridge. Got some water, but it says $4.95 a bottle. And then we got some closet space for the suitcases and stuff right here. Closet space. Drawers. Um. We got the weird outlet up there. We got the proper outlet. I don't know if you'd see it. It's down there. And then the bathroom over here. Okay. All right, this is a little bit too zoomed in. Let me get zoom that out. Here's the shower. Now, I want to show you all something about the shower. Let me just switch the view here. Me, I'm about six feet. And this is the shower head. See, so if I get in the shower here, I'm, I'm touching the shower head, okay? I'm, I'm basically, let me see if I get a wider view. I'm like here, my head is touching the shower head. So maybe a little uncomfortable to shower actually, no, but yeah. I'm gonna show you guys maybe a way to get a better shower later. Stay, so stay tuned for that. All in all though, pretty nice room, nice and roomy. It's just, it's just like a bigger, regular hotel room, really. Um, you know so we're gonna probably go to the buffet and I'll definitely have videos of that so stay tuned all right that's the stuff we can do remember we're one way so we arrived on day two and it's going through this is all the like and stuff that I guess they events these are all like the events that they seem to have on day two remember we don't do day one here since we're one-way cruising so we basically just missed the first day and night so this is the stuff we can do, like the TV has it on Channel 5, and it's day two only because we're one-way cruising and we kind of missed the first day and night by one-way cruising. So this is the list of stuff for the day. Um, it's going to eventually go through. There we go. See? So there's a bunch of stuff we could do, it looks like. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're probably just going to chill out for the most part, but I definitely want to do probably trivia and stuff later, so I don't know if I'll record that or not, though. Okay, this is the hallway. It's actually kind of small. Um, it's cool. It just looks like basically a hotel hallway. The, um, we're we're going to go to the buffet, but I'm going to tell you a rule, okay? All right, guys. My rule with this boat right now is this. Unless I'm taking the suitcases, I'm not using the elevator. So, we're going to actually use the stairs the entire time. Other than when like I'm taking suitcases and stuff like that. Of course, in an emergency or something, I'm not taking the stairs, but... Other than that, I'm basically using all stairs. So these are the stairs. So this should be fun. 
So we are at the Port of Indecision Buffet. Got some uh, good foods here. Shrimp curry, rice and chicken, gazpacho. Mm. Yeah, it looks like this is the vegetarian option. Okra curry, white rice, some corn and peas thing, and some potatoes. Cold cuts, cheese, salad bar, more desserts. Pasta station, carving station, bread, more bread, more drinks, mm. hot water, coffee, decaf and regular, teas. You will not go thirsty on this trip. I think they have like three beverage stations. Two of them seem to have hot water and coffee as well. Ice cream! Ah, cones and I'm assuming little cups. I'm not seeing any sprinkles or stuff like that, but it looks like you have vanilla, chocolate, and this vanilla chocolate swirl, I'm assuming. Then right outside the buffet is the 5 o'clock summer bar. Pretty empty right now. I think, see, this is probably a good time to record because most people are probably doing either the excursion or visiting Freeport. We actually started in Freeport, so we're not we're not into that. Look look how high we are up here. Look at that. Oh, but don't drop my phone. Doc, got some cargo ships over there, huh? Good amount actually. More bread. Um, lunch was pretty good. I couldn't get the pasta. I don't know what time they closed, but he said like they were closed, so I wasn't able to get the pasta. But those that burger like i didn't get a full one my dad gave me the rest of his and that was much juicier than i expect like a buffet burger to be and then the salad bar very nice and then some good desserts like the panna cotta very good um not all the desserts like the strawberry mousse yeah okay but the panna cotta was very good we are now on the deck there's just like a good a good area just to view the ship that's the Bellaria. it's a different type of ship it's like it only takes three hours to get to fort lauderdale it is the deck this is actually the jogging track. It's like turf, but, but it seems like they more use it as a lounge place, you know? It's technically a jogging track, but they seem to more use it as a lounge, so, but there it is. Now, the one I just showed you, uh, it, uh, it even shows you, see? Uh, it even shows you, see, jogging track, one lap, 180 meters, you know, like, okay. Now, th this is the adult-only pool area. It's called the 12 volt bar. I hope you can see that 12 volt bar. It's a bar by the adult only pool area. All right, we are at the hangout. It's right above the pool deck. This is actually the highest point on the ship. Ski ball, some arcade games. Pool table. Bunch of, lots of TVs, lots of TVs. There's a bar here. I'm not sure where it opened. Sorry, there's some music going on. Air hockey. Wow, whatever that is. Oh, it's one of those games I think where you like uh, try to win prizes. Oh, they got some, whoa, they got some great prizes in here. Look, 55 inch Fire TV Omni Series 4K Ultra HD Oculus Quest, man. Man, I would love to win one of these prizes. Nintendo Switch Lite in there, man. Couple of the prize games. This one has lesser stuff like a Margarita Villa at Sea Hat. Some other stuff in there. Oh, a GoPro. That's not too bad. And then you got your plush prizes. Oh, it's Mario. They got they got some Mario um, like stuff. Some DK, huh? A Black Panther down there. So like I, so like I said, this is the highest. So this is actually the highest point on the ship, and. Uh, You got a good view of the dock. There's some more ships over there. It's actually not as empty as I thought it would be. At least some parts of the ship are still kind of packish. I guess not as many people did excur excursions and stuff like that. But uh, this is still probably the best time to film because while people are out doing their excursions on the island, you know, a little empty, I believe. 
This is the stars on the water theater and bar. All right, guys, it is pretty empty here. Now, the, the, now this is just, this is the, I, I don't know if it's called the Jimmy Buffett sto show, but I think it's called like Tales of Margaritaville. So it's about 45 minutes, I believe. And the, down there is like VIP sitting. I think those people have the license to chill package. And up here is regular seats. So this is when you, where you come to see the show. I don't know if I'll be showing it here because I uh, really, I don't really tend to watch theater much, but this is where you come to see the show. It's on deck nine. All right, these are like the shop areas. Like you got the pho Photoshop. Uh, I think that's like a clothing shop next to it. There's some shoes there too. Maybe that's just shoes actually. That may be just a shoe start. Got some alcoholic stuff over there. Now, this is Frank and Lowe's Pizzeria. I don't think it's open right now, but yeah, this is where you get pizza and uh, let's look at the menu here. Wow, that's actually pretty cheap. I'm like, uh, are those my slices? Cause that's 14 signature pie. You're telling me that's 6.99? What? I think the one must be missing from these numbers because I don't think the pizza is that cheap. This is the Margaritaville coffee shop. It's right next to the pizzeria. Got some gelato there clothing place Which looks like jewelry another clothing place looks like and these little robots are I'm not sure if they're using them tonight they may be but whenever the pizza place is open I'm not sure if they always use them but apparently these bring you your pizzas so that's pretty cool this is the euphoria lounge and uh, like I said, it's not exactly full right now there's some people there but I'm not I'm trying not to tape as many people or at least much so uh, this is where you just come to chill, it looks like. They actually have a bar over here. This is in the Euphoria Lounge. So it's open right now, it looks like. This is the JWB Steak, Prime Steakhouse. I believe it's $49 per person. It's like you just pay one flat rate and then you go in. And this is the menu for tonight. So yeah, I think it's about $49 or $59 per person. Not sure. Now, this is Finn's dining room. Now, um, it's not open, so I'm just gonna quickly... Here's some stuff, it looks... Pretty nice. Um, it's actually pretty big. This is just a corner. If I can get around to the next corner, I'm going to show it to you. Here it is. See, much bigger. Yeah, It's right next to JWB. In fact, like here's JWB. It's basically inside Finn's. It's like they got a curtain separating the two. So pretty huge dining room, actually. Very big. All right, this is the menu for Finn's tonight, and uh, we'll probably be eating there later, God willing. This is the directory. It shows you like all the floors and what's on them. I'm pretty sure that floors seven to four are basically just staterooms. Not sure, not not fully sure, but I'm pretty sure. And at the bottom, they tell you what's on each floor. And it seems like seven to four are basically just staterooms, except five also has the reception and the guest services and the excursions desk, basically the lobby stuff, and also the chapel. This is the lobby, and that's the I guess famous Margaritaville at Sea Slipper. Get a different view of this. This is the chapel. I'm glad they have one of these on board. Very nice. You can come here to pray. Of course you can pray anywhere, but I do think it is nice to have it just a designated spot sometimes. Sometimes people, I think, just feel like maybe you have more than one person in your room. Maybe it's hard to get away and it's good to just come here. It's not big. I, mean, I think it's more like a prayer room in truth. They got the Bible down there. That's good. They also have, I think that's, I think it says, I think that's the Bible in Spanish. I'm not sure. Definitely. Gotta trust in Jesus. This is the casino area. This is the Oasis room. Looks like another chill room. All right. We are beginning disembarkation. Alright, we are leaving. We actually did the disembarkation, but I was doing trivia, so I didn't actually look at the whole disembarkation, but that's where the island of Grand Bahama is, so we're heading out into the deep blue yonder. Alright, God willing, we get there safely. This is the Finn's fitness center and it's also spa area. I'm, I don't see where the spa is, but they got some actually, like, uh, chairs here that have like this very beautiful view of the ocean and you just I don't know if these are free or you're supposed to do something but anyway you can seems like you can chill out there and here is the gym 
Oh. They have lemon water and cucumber water right here. Oh, fitness center is only open from 8 to 10 p 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, that sucks because I wanted to come here like at 5 a.m. Oh well. All right, now no, it's party time, Dad. This is actually a uh, very nice gym. Very nice gym. Got uh, even a, I don't know what what do you call this? Like the ballet area? I don't know. I don't know what that is, but. Got uh, some machines, treadmills, got some weights over here, you know, just free weights and uh, whatever that is. Very nice, Jim. This seems to be a sauna. Gonna open the door, see if there's anything here. All right, y'all. Um, yep, in. definitely a sauna room. <laughs> so, remember how earlier, guys, I told you. If the shower in the cabin is too small, maybe then you should do this. And this is it right here. See, they got a shower right here. I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna switch the camera around. Notice this shower is higher than my head. So, for those of you a little taller, maybe you just use the shower in the gym. And they got your, um, I'm assuming they just have the soap. I'm not seeing any shampoo or anything in this gym, but Hey, if you bring, I guess, your shampoo or whatnot, you just use it. Come here and use the shower in the gym. Oh, there's like a mini sauna room in here too. I guess this is just the men. This is probably the one where like the men go in with just towels on, you know? I think they got some like stones and like this water bucket in there too. Like I think you pour like the water on the hot stones and steam forms. Huh, that's kind of cool. All right, guys, we're at Finn's Dining. This is the complimentary restaurant in the... Cruise, we're here and about to order probably. Here's the menu. I got the eggplant. My father got the butternut squash. Yeah. I'm sorry guys, the food was so good and I kind of lost track of recording it before I got it, but dessert is coming so hopefully I'll still record that. I got the tiramisu. My father got the apple crumble with vanilla ice cream. All right, not sure if you guys can hear me, but I'm pretty sure that's the shores of West Palm Beach. And I think we're just not moving yet because they don't go till 7 a.m. So I think they actually put down anchor. Not sure. All right, hey guys. It's about 5.30 a.m. in the morning. I wanted to go to the gym, but the gym doesn't open till 8 a.m. and I'm not gonna wait till 8 a.m. to do, do the workout, especially since this is disembarkation day. So, I'm probably just gonna run around the jogging track a few times, maybe do some push-ups and stuff like that, get a workout in. Also, just wanted to talk about the Finn's dinner last night. Oh, it was amazing, okay? The Finn's food is really good. So, definitely recommend eating at Finn's for dinner. Um, I think it's only available for dinner, I think it's 6.30 and 8.30. I'm not sure if that's still the rule because you don't have to make reservations anymore. You just go. But that was great food. Like it was basically like four star quality food. The eggplant especially was really good. Now, not everything was like super, super good, but like in general, just Finn's was like four star quality food. All right, so I went to the chapel, did some praying, jogged a few times around the jogging track and did some push ups. So we're actually moving like very slowly wanted to take a shower at the gym shower but gym doesn't open till 8 a.m. so yeah gonna have to use this thing gonna have to use this uh, shorter I'm not sure if that's the word but yeah shower this is breakfast got some eggs bacon sausage oatmeal frittata french toast pancake waffles cold <sighs> cuts and cheese yogurt some fruits pastries Compensation. I think those are potatoes, but they labeled them pancake and like, you know, those like potatoes or something. Oh, they got them mixed up. Island potato and pancake. I'm gonna, I'll switch them for them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they apparently had more mixed up. Fresh bread and bagels and stuff like that. 
if you guys can see this, but there's actually two bikers down there. <laughs> I think one of them is recording the ship coming in. I wonder how much those houses go for. Oh, wow. Look at all those ships. That is so weird. Like, they're all just there. Alright, I'm gonna stop recording for now. I don't want to risk dropping my phone like when the boat comes to stop, so just stop recording for now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but God's blessing, we're like right next to the spot where I believe you get off, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, probably gonna go to the buffet, get some food, because we've now docked. And being on the fifth floor is actually God's blessing, because like, um, it seems like the fifth floor is where you leave the boat, and like we're really close to where you leave the area. So probably gonna get something to eat, then probably gonna come back to the room. Our room is actually really close to it, so definitely God's blessing, all right. My breakfast. Oh my gosh, they have an omelet station outside. Nice. So guys, I'm now back in my house. I've been off the trip for a while now. So I just wanted to give my overall, I guess, review. Now, just remember, I'm not reviewing the cruise as a whole because that cruise is actually a round trip from West Palm Beach to Grand Bahama and back. But I'm reviewing just from Grand Bahama to West Palm Beach, which is just my one-way or repositioned cruise, if you would. And it was pretty good. Like, the food, the activities, the room, the king-size bed. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to say to my Bahamian brethren, if you have to go to Freeport before you go to the U.S., this may be the way to go, Grant, and definitely to my Grand Bahamian brethren. Right now, the price is cheaper than most flights up to Florida. So if you have to go to Florida, you know, visiting relatives, business, vacation, you may want to consider doing this instead of a flight. Like, it's a day basically of relaxation and rest, and you get to have that before you even start your trip, or at least, you know, when you, before you get to the U.S. So... I would definitely recommend this. This is, remember, just the one way, and I'm really just comparing this to flying to Florida more so. And right now, at least for two people, it's like cheaper than most flights to Florida. And basically, that's what me and my father use it as, a way to get to Florida. So as a way to get to Florida, this is great. I can't review the whole round trip, but I would definitely pick this over a, a plane and also over the Bellaria. No diss to the Bellaria. It only takes three hours to get there, but yeah. This was way better than Bellaria because not only was it a day of basically re rest and relaxation, but the atmosphere was just so chill, not just on the boat, but even getting on, like you go there, they had our stuff in the system. We were able to get on the boat really quickly. And then when you're getting off, that was even a much better experience than when like usually at the airport, when you have to go through immigration, much better experience. We got there. It was pretty quick. It's like overall, it was just a really good experience. So I definitely recommend doing the one-way cruise or reposition cruise, whichever one you want to call it, over a flight, at least right now, because I think because of the cruise business just kind of kicking back up recently. And if I lived in Grand Bahama, I don't I live in Nassau, I would probably use that most times. Like if I had time, I would use that over a flight. Like if I had to get there quickly, then obviously a flight. But if I had time, I would probably nine out of 10 times use that over a flight. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.